No, nah, say they checked your phone and it was text and shit. Well, that's dumb as fuck. <laughs> what you mean? People, people are that stupid, though. People are literally I'm not that replying stupid. to no goddamn text that you say you commit a crime. Bro, that, that, like, all average niggas gonna be like, what? For real? No, that's, wow, that's crazy. Nah, I'm not replying to that. No, I'm not. That's incriminating myself. I'm smarter than that. Come on now. You gotta play me better. Hey. <laughs> play me better. Hey. Look, I do not say no incriminating shit through no text message. Send a fucking audio or something, my boy. Don't sit there and fucking text it out, write it out. Hey, That's people do that. Like, you know how many people that got caught just I shit. believe it. Think about how many, many niggas get caught cheating because of text messages and DMs and things like that. Uh, people put everything. Oh, well, I mean, that's stupid. <laughs> you ain't never been caught type shit on like text messages, anything, was oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's it. Let's talk about it. Hey. Hey. Let's talk about it. If you gotta get it off your chest, let's talk about it. I'ma tell the truth, nothing less. Let's talk about it. Gotta keep it real with you expect. Let's talk about it. Hey, let's talk about it. Listen, man, I'm just here to talk my talk. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you like it, I love it. And, it, and it. and if you don't like it, I still love it. Cause I'm just here having fun, man. Hopefully y'all can just sit back, listen to this, and, and enjoy yourself, cause that's all we're here to do. Let's talk about it. We had like speed game and shit last night. Just some fellas got together, had some drinks and shit. Ate some food, pizza, and just had fun playing spades. And it was, I man, I don't know. I love playing cards, man. Like, we ain't gambled or nothing, you know. We just kept it light. Just some friends getting together. I feel like sometimes just having a good camaraderie with your boys oh, yeah. and getting together yeah. and just, you know, venting or whatever. Are you kicked wifey out of the house? She's okay with that? No, nah, she actually left. Oh, where, where, where? She left. She went in over one of her homegirls' house or whatever. Um, crazy shit happened with her, but I enjoyed my night. She didn't enjoy her <laughs> night as much as I enjoyed mine, man. You know, I stayed at home. She left. Yeah, sometimes sometime it's more fun at home. Yeah. Sometimes it's safer at home. Well, no, it's always safer at home. If you don't have comfort and safety at your home, you ain't living in the right place. Nah, you're right, though. In the right you're place. Right, though. I, I fuck with that. Was you, was on the, you was on the winning end of that space? Yeah, 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 man. Uh, we went like four and one last night. We won. We were playing to like 350. No, we didn't want to do 500. Drag it out or something. Yeah, I'm just gonna play with some scrubs then. Nah, I don't know. Either way, 500 still, it takes a hot little minute to get to if you're trying to, you know, run yeah, a lot but, of games. But back four to back. one? Hey, man, you can't control. Y'all should have switched the teams. You, up can't you can't control. You can't control. Now, we was doing it like a best out of seven, kind of oh, like right, NBA okay. type. Oh, shit. yeah, okay. I feel you. I feel but um, you can't control how them cards fall, yeah. man. Like, uh, man, I don't know. People say I got gifted hands when it comes to dealing or whatever. Because yeah. every time I dealt, bro, we got like nine to ten books. I don't know how. That's I don't know cheating. why. Ain't no cheating. <laughs> That's called hey, cheating. I cut, but hey, now I'm gonna tell you what I do do, and I, I you, know you put in that. I know yeah, a lot of that people, space card at the bottom of the deck. That's hey, one, one, one card ain't gonna make make you win. You know That's what crazy. Saying? But uh, what I do, and I, I know some people don't allow it when they play or whatever, mm -hmm. but I cross deal a lot. And I like the cross deal. I mean, because it breaks the books up. But it's it, technically it's like a reshuffle though in a type of way. I mean, you don't, it's, yeah. not, it's not said exactly. It's yeah. not said that you're supposed to deal in a type of order, but in a way, it's almost like a reshuffle. Facts. But so my thing is specifically if I'm playing with people that don't have like a a good shuffle, or like some people don't even take time to cut shuffle yeah. or whatever. It's like this game ended. They. One, two, three, and then they back ready to go. Right. And mean, it's like, yeah. when you do that, literally, all the books will come out in the same order a lot of the time. Yeah. I mean, the I hand might so. rotate slightly, mm -hmm. so I like to break it up. But that's just me. But I don't know. When I do it, I don't know who be talking to me, who be holding my hand. But that thing be, hey, well, be set me that, up. Man. You got your bragging rights. Um, for me, I had a good weekend, though. I my boy had a gathering uh, last night, and I, it was pretty lit. I ended up getting messy. Like, one of my homegirls, she came over. <laughs> you she, got messy? Or the, nah, or the, I ain't getting messy. Okay. I ain't okay. getting messy. Hit the 
his homegirl that he fought with, he brought over, and her best friend, her boyfriend. It just got messy. And just like, Nobody shit. getting no fights, man. Nah, no nah, guns, nah, nah, no nah, guns. Nah, hell nah. It was safe. It's just something we laughed about because I'm, I'm a goofball. Yeah. Like, just, Take shit like yeah, regardless. They, they took her out of the house. And after that, we turned back up. So It was lit. And today, I got my car washed by some bitches in bikinis. Damn. Yeah. You stayed in the car or you got yeah, out? Yeah, I stayed in the car. I live for the show. That was like the joint on the movie when they really be all yeah. on your car and stuff? Yeah, they, was... they, yeah, they're trying to raise money for a good cause, but I, I know them. Um, well, I know like two of them personally. These black girls, yeah, white black girls, girls, like multi? Yeah, yeah, multi? They, no, they're black girls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what I did today. I had a good time, though. Your ass yeah. doing something every weekend. <laughs> so like, like you be, you work like, uh, Monday through Friday type shit. I don't even work no more, man. Damn. Yeah. I'm focused on school right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so that's fire then. Yeah. So no, nah, you definitely gotta oh. have that. Well, no, nah, cause you a little older than technical like college days. Yeah. Like, even though you know you could be at any age attending right. college, but I'm talking about the wild college age. Oh yeah, you know I know. I ain't. I ain't because I was gonna say that's why you turn every weekend, but really nah. You nah I was doing that. that. I was doing that when I was working. But I don't even be turn every weekend. I just can't stay in the fucking house. I can't sit in the house. I got you. Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of yeah. equates to the saying: if you out the house, you ain't going out to just go damn visit nature and you know. Yeah, I, I do that sometimes. But you go hiking and shit? Not no more. <laughs> I got to get back into it, He though. said, not after I watch Cocaine Bell. That shit ruined my whole wildlife not experience. Not no more. This heat crazy. This mosquitoes crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, as I get older, like, my hygiene is different. You feel me? Like, if I feel humid, I start attracting a lot of bugs. I try, I'm trying to get some inside and shit. So. My nuts wet. It's over. For real, unless I'm, unless I'm intentionally specifically working out, working out yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like that. Yeah, it's the craziest <laughs> shit, bro. Like even when I'm at work, I don't like sweat. I know people are like, oh, you at work, you supposed to be working. Fuck that. I don't like sweating at work. Only time I don't mind sweating is when I'm working out. Cause I know as soon as I work out, are you sitting down at work or are you like moving? No matter what, I don't like sweating at work. <laughs> like, cause what I mean is like, you bust your ass, you sweating at work. For one, you ain't gonna get paid no more for working hard. I mean, yeah. But true. my thing with that also is, once your ass sweaty or whatever else, depending on how how early in your shift you did it, you could possibly have seven more hours to be hot and sweaty and fuck that. How, how far you live from work? <laughs> the average. I think the average person live at least 30 minutes away oh, so from, what, from you, their work. You take some wipes in the bathroom. No, I don't sweat. I, oh. I don't sweat at work. But no, normally when I do, I go I go in the bathroom at work or whatever, yeah. the, the shower room, locker room, and I wash up. Oh, for real? Literally oh, at man. work. I wash up. I used to wash up every day at work. <laughs> yeah, every day. <laughs> Motherfuckers be like, well, you on the clock washing yeah. up. Yeah. Hey. Hey, no, I'm getting paid to wash up. Hey, Shit. yeah. Hey, yeah. Y'all Ain't got me doing that, that shit. Yeah, I do I it every time. That, they used to get yeah. upset with that shit too. Yeah. Hey, they ain't never fire me. Never get no write ups or nothing. They tried that shit one time. Supervisor would just come around around the time he knew I'm in the shower. Yeah. Just to eyeball and see if I'm still getting the shower. And I still get in the shower. <laughs> you really be in that shower. It don't be no wash no. up. Shower, shower, in the shower, <laughs> towel oh, over there, boy, shower yeah. shoes. Well, in the shower, having a good time. Yes. He at home. Yes. Shower <laughs> every day, bro. It's the fucked up part, though. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, we all know people have a herd mentality or a sheep mentality yeah. to where if one person does something. And get away with it. Everybody's yeah. either going to, one, complain yeah. about it or try to follow you know, suit. Follow and fuck up your whole yeah. shit, man. You just can't live Motherfuckers yeah. started with me. I'm the only one doing the showering and shit. Like, literally, I get off work. I'm clean, fresh, freshly showered, clothes like, like I'm about to go somewhere. First people were peeping it, peeping it. You know, like, hey, hey, man, I don't know, man. I'm getting in trouble doing that. I'm like, hey, if I get in trouble over where I take that, but I'm good. Yeah. You know, it went from that to next thing I know. Another nigga doing it. All right, it's just one more nigga. It'd be all right. Next thing I know, two, three, four, five. Then the whole shift almost. Now it's a problem. 
and you got like the head nigga there. I, like, I, say, I, I, say, I can't hold you. Once I see somebody, like if I, I have my head and I already want to do it, <laughs> and I see somebody get away with it, I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to follow suit. Nigga, this what? nigga get to do it. I'm but you, you blowing somebody's spot up, bro. Man, I, like, want, I want my balls clean too. What the hell? You don't want to have your balls clean up? Yeah, right? hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, first, you gotta pine. You gotta be a pioneer, man. Go do something else. Go do something else, bro. Like create something else. Do your own. You know, get on your own way. Like this is the thing too. Niggas be like, oh, I st- verbiage. I stay in my own lane. I ride my own way. Yeah. I'm like, nah, nigga, you on my way. You in my lane. Get the fuck out of it right nah, now. Nigga. I feel it. I feel it though. Know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. it's nothing that you can do that you're not supposed to do. And get away with it if too many people start doing it. A lot of the time, people overlook things and don't say nothing. But even like as a supervisor, you can probably be like, all right, yeah. nobody said nothing or whatever. But once the people start complaining, even if the supervisor didn't care that you was doing it, he can be like, hey, man. You know, I mean, definitely in the on. business, if, if everybody started doing it on the clock, somebody's looking like, this is how much time I'm losing at <laughs> work. But see, now that's the next thing. I didn't even have a position that I had to work. Um, My position was uh to provide like other people with breaks and shit. Yeah. So like I didn't work consecutive or continual eight hours. Yeah. I would work for like one hour, and then I got like an hour and a half to do nothing. I would work for one hour, then I got like another hour, hour and a half to do nothing. Mm-hmm. So what I would do is on that last cycle. The sixth hour, when everybody else, I'm giving them their break, from my seventh hour to the end of the shift, I have nothing to do. Mm. And everything i supposed to do, I've already gotten done, you know. So. And, oh, and so you pulling 12s, 12-hour 12 shifts? At that point, I was uh, doing 12. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, but that, that makes sense, though. Yeah. Even at my current job, yeah. I, I do eights and... They got me doing some shit and I don't like it. I go wash up there too. Like I, I, I carry that shit on. If if it's provided. Now you know some jobs you might not have. You know if you got like a certain type of office job and it's not showers and stuff there, then I'm fucked. But as far as if they got the shower locker room and all that, oh, it's over for them. Keep your hygiene right. Yeah, over for them. like that. What's up? Oh, <clears throat> so. My question for you is, this is a bad segue, but it was on my mind. <laughs> uh, do y'all feel like y'all are like self-aware? You know, some people say like, I am self-aware, but are you like, do you consider yourself self-aware? Do you consider yourself emotionally intelligent? And anything that falls after that, like, what do you, what would you consider your flaws, right? In general, not just relationship. If you, if you believe you have flaws, you know, not everybody, believe they have flaws. I feel like if a motherfucker don't feel like they got flaws, then they automatically answer one of your questions by not being <laughs> self-aware. Yeah, right. If you feel like you don't have flaws, but um, I feel like I'm self-conscious to an extent, and I feel like everybody has an extent. Um, I feel like if you're overly self-aware, you're not going to enjoy yourself. I feel like if you're under, then you're gonna have this higher or delusion. What of, or what's considered overly self-aware though? Like, like well, those people that have those disorders that are like thinking they're like super fat or something, mm-hmm. and they're everyone else feels mm-hmm. like you know, but they're like super hard on themselves about right. certain things. So that's what I mean, like oh, uh, like like criticizing yourself, like being super like, super critical. Like being like so I feel like that yeah. person is aware. They're yeah. overly aware. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, you know, I gained one pound. I feel like a hog. But in all actuality, I don't, I think it's body dysmorphia. I think that's what it's called. Sound about right. I don't know. You a fact check that? That's what it's called? Mm-hmm. So I think it's called body dysmorphia. Basically, when you uh, feel as though something is always wrong with you or, you know, even if it's not. I feel like those people are kind of like overly aware. Yeah. So, yeah, so body dysmorphia is like overly aware, and that's just on the physical yeah, aspect, yeah, but even on a, a mental aspect, it goes deeper, yeah. you know, that's people that's overly self conscious mm-hmm. of other things they that self sabotage, depressed, like, yeah, yeah, depressed, anxiety, and things like that. Uh-huh. So, I feel like those people are overly aware, mm-hmm. 
and it might be on some shit that ain't even true. Right. You know, but I feel like I have a good handle on myself. <sighs> and I still feel like it's certain things we all overlook about ourselves. Yeah. Um, my biggest flaw <sighs> probably would be lack of interest um, over time. It's a lot mm-hmm. of stuff I pursue and start. That's crazy. And then, I know exactly what you mean. And then, like yeah. after a while, I'm just bored. Yeah, I say the most successful <laughs> thing I've done <laughs> and stayed with that kind of surprised me, just based off of my character, mm-hmm. is get married and right. like you know, like your biggest commitment, right? Yes, That's something yes. you stay committed to. And like you know what I'm saying, like I'm so indecisive in it. Right. when it comes to like permanent things. Mm-hmm. That that's one primary reason why I don't have like tattoos and stuff. Yeah. I don't trust myself enough to get a tattoo because you'd be impulsive. Impulsive thinking. And, and I know a lot of people later, like, why do, why do look at certain yeah. tattoos, get cover ups, right. or look at certain tattoos, yeah. get shit pulled off, or I mean removed. Yeah. Um and I feel like if you got a tattoo, apparently that was super important to you unless you were super impulsive. And you shouldn't get it tat like covered up or whatever or removed. But um that's probably my biggest my biggest issue is uh losing interest super easily. Um I don't know. And I feel like society creates that thing, that impatience with a lot of us now. Mm-hmm. Because uh everything is so instant now. When things right. aren't instant, we get upset. We get like you know, and I think that creates a shorter attention, attention span, span over time. You know, people say that a lot too. Yeah, you know, everything. Yeah. Is inc- like, we used to have LTE and then we went to 5G. Right. Then we went to 5G. Now it's like, if you want something and your shit taking a long time to load, you're like, man, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know, really, it really only be like 10 seconds. 10 yeah, seconds, you know saying, but you use it, the shit it, it, feels, but it feels like two minutes. You know what I'm saying? And so, even yeah. when, you know, your phone starts to slightly slow down or anything mm-hmm. in life that feels like a slight inconvenience because we're right. so impatient now, mm-hmm. you had a red light and the shit turned green. <laughs> Bro, if you in the city, <laughs> like niggas on, eh, eh, yeah. on your ass, so, you know. Yeah. So I feel like that's just society as a whole, but I do feel like that's a big thing I have a problem mm-hmm. with is uh, staying focused on one thing. Something has to be very important. And kind of like pivotal in my life for me to yeah stay focused and know like I have to do this. Your mind got a um. So I got the I kind of stole this from somebody and I kind of adapted it. Your mind got to constantly be stimulated. That does for me too. Yeah. I get bored very easily. Yeah. And that's why I'm always. That's why I'm always doing something. Like you mentioned the weekend shit. Yeah. I'm always doing something. I'll be in the house chilling, trying to watch TV. Now I try to do work in assignments. The assignments gone. I'm like I cannot sit in the house. I just hop on the road, go do some shit, find some shit, look some shit up. So you constantly need to be stimulated, like yeah. mentally. Yeah. Whatever. So what? What would be your biggest flaw if you had to? I would say so. I don't know if I got biggest. So um, first, are you fit? You feel like you're self conscious or yeah, self aware? I'm self aware. I think over time, I become more self aware, and a lot of things. Um, I know what I'm doing. I just keep doing it, even though I should be changing this shit. So you're aware? I yeah. Just fuck that I'm yeah. aware because I'm me. Yeah. Exactly. I'm that nigga. Exactly. But <laughs> as, as I get older and mature, that changes because it affect people. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Right. So I don't know if I got a biggest flaw, but I do got some flaws. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I'm in therapy and uh, I was like going on a rant, and I already know I got like trust issues. And but I didn't bring it up in therapy, and I meant to bring it up, but I, the rant just took over. Mm-hmm. And she was like, "You know what I think it is? I think you got trust issues." And I started laughing. I was like, "You know what? I meant to tell you that at the beginning of this session." And then uh, she was like, "No worry, I already wrote it down." And so what it is, it's not like like trust issues in relationships. It's like in general, I just don't trust people. So yeah. did yeah. she? Because I will say s- something similar like that about myself with the trust thing but <clears throat> i kind of self diagnose myself on why what i'm about to say mm-hmm. and i'm gonna ask you in the same do you feel like that 
trust issue is what causes you to be a little nonchalant. And what I mean by that is I know with me getting tired of being hurt or betrayed, lied to, or just disappointed by someone else Mm -hmm. creates this wall of barrier to let you know, all right, I cared. And what caused me to get hurt is because I cared. Yeah. So now, if I just stop fucking caring about it, <laughs> can't nobody come because I already expected that. It don't matter. I ain't even put no yeah. thought to it. I ain't put no... Yeah, so you feel like that kind of... I think that that's definitely a piece of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but don't get me wrong. I look at life different from a lot of people. And most of my life, I've been somewhat nonchalant, considered cold-hearted in a way. But because of that lack of trust I have in like people in general, it do make me more nonchalant because I don't expect that much out of you now you know yeah, what, I'm what i'm saying somebody yeah. else uh, somebody else and said they like like invite people somewhere and when i invite people somewhere they say they want to be invited and then they don't show up yeah and so it's like now 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 i don't trust you you know what i'm saying i don't trust you to be here on time it's just a whole bunch of shit so yeah i stopped caring about you I'm like oh that shit don't even bother me no more you feel me so i i think that's a it's a good point because um that was part of my rant too. Like I was telling her, like I don't care. I was telling her that I think I got like a detachment issue, and she was just like, "Well, what you mean?" She said because being able to detach from people is not an issue. It's the people who have attach attachment issues who hang on to people, things that they should let go. That's the issue. But you're not being able to attach people for too long. That's not the issue. I feel like it could be both ways. Yeah, it it, it can it can go I both feel ways. Like, you know, at certain points, you need to learn how to attach yourself to somebody. Because yeah. If it's someone that you should be attached to mm-hmm. and care about and love. Yeah. And they don't feel any attachment, but they're giving you all this. Oh attachment. yeah, I mean that's a that's another spectrum. I'm not saying like I don't ever attach. Okay. I'm saying it's like, hard for you to like when I do attach, it's not hard for me to let go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, it's just like I get what you say. Yeah. Okay, I get what you yeah. say. Yeah, somebody. Well, yeah, no, that's not. I wouldn't like you said. I wouldn't consider that a flaw. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't consider that bad yeah. either because I can say I'm probably like that too. Um, and I think that's a that's a plus. I, I mean, feel like it, that's it, a plus. It, she she made it, she made it a plus, but it, like society make you think it's a problem, right? Um, definitely when I talk to my People hear me talk a lot. I always mention homegirls because I got a lot of homegirls, right? That's when I talk to my homegirls, and they be like, you don't think that's a problem? Like, just like, I mean, well, shit, we've got to be transparent up here, right? Yeah. And so even my last relationship, so, like, they was like, how could you, like, get over it so quickly? Mm-hmm. You, did you ever love it? I said, yeah, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? I said, but that's a me thing, like. Once something is done in my life, it's done. Like I'm not, I don't hold on to anything. It was like that's a problem. Like you need to get that checked out. Like mad people like say different. But see, shit like that. I feel like that's the thing why you people has told you it's an issue because, like you said, you got a lot of homegirls. Mm-hmm. I feel like men and women are kind of like opposite mm-hmm. when it comes to that attachment thing. True, you I mean, find yeah. a lot more women. Yeah, in my opinion. Not a fact, in my opinion, <laughs> that, you know, you find women that don't uh, unattach themselves mm-hmm. because they stick around with a nigga that ain't shit or whatever. And they know that, but they just can't get themselves to let him go or whatever. On the reverse, a dude does the opposite. We tend to be, like, too disattached mm-hmm. and let shit go, which you still have. In both categories, because nothing is perfect. Men that stay too attached and women that aren't attached. Yeah. But just, I'm speaking in general, you know, and that's that's my thought on that. But uh, I don't know. Like, so what would you say is probably your best attribute or feature? Ooh, that's... Top, top three. If you had to get the top three things about yourself Ooh. that would make you like this super eligible bachelor, like, Females just like, oh my God, like like what is your top three things that would be on your list of describing you? Um <laughs> as a pro, of course. As a pro. As a pro. Oh man, I, I don't know, man. I'm 
I'm a jack of all trades, so you know, I ain't a pro at anything. That's the thing, that's the thing about jacks all trades. I'm, not, I'm good at some shit. Yeah, know? but I'm talking but about just I'm as, not, a, I'm as not a, a. I'm not a pro at as as a, as a character trait. All right, but but what, what do you value about yourself most? But for me, it's um, uh, and this is more so uh, from what I heard from people, and so I take it in, I embrace it. So me being like free spirited and like very open minded, and it makes me, it puts me on a neutral scale, an unbiased scale for a lot of things. So I'm very easy to talk to because they. What people automatically feel like I'm a, it's like a judgment free zone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so that's the number one thing, and I embrace that, and I do love that about myself. The other two, oh um, no, I got I gotta take some time to think about. <laughs> <laughs> um, so question: Why are you still thinking? If this don't take your thought off of that, right. do you feel like the nonchalantness is literally? the cause or the thing that's making you so easy going is it literally just because you're nonchalant or is it because you know what i'm saying like they go I, I they go you, one and i, I in, get in what the you're same. saying i definitely get what you're saying i get where you're going with it too um no i kind of just think that um damn they do want it yeah yeah they kind of go together because i was really about to say i take people for as they are and knowing, knowing that pe- people are different you know what i'm saying yeah right so i'm not gonna put my what i would do as a person onto somebody else and i think that's what we do as society and that's why we get disappointed so easily so right but i don't do that with people i, I let people be who they are you feel me and but that does go to like a not well people consider it not so yeah right. yeah you know what I'm so saying? so yeah do you feel as though you are just as easygoing with advice and acceptance of what someone is saying to people that you love deeply? Like, for example, say if your mother was to tell you something mm-hmm. dire, would you be as easygoing about what she says as just one of, like, the female friends that you have? Would yeah. you be as... Okay, so yeah. you can easily and unbiasedly speak to her and give her the same yeah okay because i don't know i feel like with the attachment part that we were saying we all not all most of us are attached to our mothers Uh or spouses or people that we love dearly a little more and sometimes our judgment slightly sways based off the amount of attachment you have to the person i I, I mean i think it's a great question but nah it's the same playing field for everybody. For me, okay. Um, I don't even know if you know, but so my mother passed away in 2016. I know. Right? Yeah. Um, and that, like you said, I definitely had an attachment with my mother. She was my nigga, like mm-hmm. probably like my female best friend, I would say. Um, but it was still an equal playing field. So the things that she may criticize me about took it the same way and things that I'll talk, talk to her about like mom you shouldn't be doing this you know what I'm saying like everything's and that's that's what kind of built our relationship because we was able to be very transparent with each other but also I provide that same transparency with my male friends and my female friends in the same manner so yeah it's an equal playing field for me yeah I don't know I tend to uh <clears throat> I feel like I have the same look and judgment on everybody. Mom, family members, brother, sister. Except for my wife. Like, I feel like I get way more defensive, way more, uh, I ain't going to say judgmental, but my judgment on certain things about my wife, I feel like I'm more protective over her than anyone else like in my life and and it wasn't like that at one point it's just like something happened a switch just clicked and because at one point she would say oh you nonchalant you don't care about this you don't care about that you don't i don't know if it's just the 
the mental yeah. of her continue telling me, telling me, telling me, and then one day I'm just like, all right. Or the switch though. Do you do you have an idea of what probably switched? I don't know, and that's why I was saying I'm thinking it may be just over the years of hearing it and saying, all right, I'm gonna try to be more. I'm gonna try to be more caring, or I'm gonna try to be more this. I'm trying to be like eventually maybe click, but which I will say I got a little more soft and more sensitive once my kids were born. I mean, yeah. Exactly. So I don't know if my yeah. kids coming into the picture played a part on that too and created more of an attachment. Mm-hmm. But once my kids came into the picture, I know like my mental changed a lot. Mm-hmm. My mental changed a lot when it comes to like learning how to love someone and learning how to like really care and put in that extra to like show yeah. somebody something but um i don't know outside of that before i had kids it was like oh well oh well like i, I was i think i was at my most nonchalant state when i was before i had like kids and shit but um what are you about 21 your first one nah 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 um, 23, 24, 23, 24. Yeah. 23, 24. I think, actually, I think that's definitely a good take about yourself. That's in this point of conversation. That's part of you being self aware. Yeah. You know, um, I still stand trying to think of those other two. And can't think of those other two. Do you you ever uh, get some type of criticism as far as what and automatically go on the defense or cause like me sometimes you know how the, the original question was you know are you self aware mm-hmm. have you ever got criticism and automatically shut it out like nah that shit ain't me or this ain't that or nah you you giving me a bad you got a bad representation yeah. of what I am who I am and what I care about type shit. The reason why I say that is because, like, I mean, I feel like all of us has uh, got some type of critique or criticism. Yeah. yeah. And it, uh, we disagree with what's said. Mm-hmm. Do you take most and or all criticism equally, or do you have to hear it five, six, seven, eight, nine times from different people to say, damn? This shit might be true. Have you ever originally heard something from one person and maybe previously had never heard it from someone else? And then without hearing it from someone else, you're like, nah, nobody never told me that before. But then down the line, you start hearing it more and you're like, fuck, I shut that person out when they originally told me this. They just happened to be the first person to pick up on this character, characteristics of me. And uh, now I didn't kind of shun them for it, but maybe they were telling the truth because I'm starting to hear it more. Yeah. When you say have you ever, of course, I'm just, of course it's gonna be a automatic yes. But um, so you, but you can like actually mm-hmm. recall certain yeah, traits. I, I recall two main things, and one of them I had a discussion about yesterday. So the uh, first thing is, like I said, I'm a goofy character outside. And I used to hear that I play too much. You know what I'm <laughs> Say, man, no, man. not me. I'm like, man, I'm not playing this too much. It's like, oh, you don't take anything serious. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Whatever. And then I used to do this thing. And a lot of people do it, which is bad. As I get, like, this is the old me, y'all. So I don't do it no more. But I used to be like, nah, you're just too sensitive. Saying like, like, you know what I'm saying? Gaslight them because they said something. Something to me. So you was on the defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh, this is one person said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So had you start hearing it yeah, more? When I started when I started hearing it more because I do know I play, but I never I never thought it was like too, too much. much yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, yo, I got to realize that everybody personality not mine. Yeah. Right. And so I was like, damn, maybe I am playing too much. So yeah. with that being said, did that mean at that point you weren't as self aware, or like like? Yeah, at that, that point, yeah, I agree. I, I wasn't. So you know sometimes we have to be accepting of mm-hmm. what other people tell us about ourselves to be yeah. self-aware. Yes, yeah. But yeah. is that considered self-aware or is that just being considered 
accepting what other people think of us. I mean, at that, with, that like particular, said, with that particular uh, instance, I wasn't self-aware. Yeah. Like, so, um, I didn't, didn't think that I played too much, right? Mm-hmm. And being self-aware is insane. Because at first, I thought it was like a normal thing. I thought everybody just be goofy and stuff. Yeah. Right? Uh, but part of being self-aware is saying, like, nigga, you are being playing too much and then you gotta think about how it affects other people you know what i'm saying you're not just being a normal human being you know? motherfuckers don't want to be hitting a head with a ball out of nowhere you yeah know what I'm saying? Oh, you know this shit, like. <laughs> and, and, and you can't call it playing and you call it well i'm just playing yeah. nobody want to hear like a little a little like a little joke about dark humor and yeah. and it's a serious moment for them and you call it oh no i was just playing you yeah. know what i'm saying nobody want to hear that shit you feel me? I feel like just surrounding yourself with like people yeah, kind of eliminates the next, that's the a lot thing. of problems. Yeah. With uh, mm-hmm. Had you ever built a relationship with someone that was actually very different from you? You not knowing that, of course, at first. And you built, you actually got close with this person. But the closer you got, the more you realize, damn, we really don't match. We really don't whatever. And then after like so much attachment is already there, you wind up having to be like, yeah, we we not, you know, we don't mesh. We don't match. Like, have you ever had to get rid of somebody that you've already grown attached to, just based off of not matching or mixing well? Nah, I mean, I had. Nah. So you yeah. normally catch it early enough. I, to say, I normally catch it early enough, and something like with my life, I fucking <laughs> if I'm trying to get some buzz, I'm go through with it. You feel me? <laughs> hey, <laughs> what's then, that song by T Grizzly? <laughs> when he said, "Uh, what did he say?" He said, "I had to." He said, he, "I don't know how he, he yo went in on her." And he was like, "He tell he'll tell a girl anything she want to hear just so he can crack buns." But once he crack buns, it's like. Hey, I did what I had to. <laughs> like that's literally the name of the song. I think it's called "I Had To." But that shit is crazy. Well, I ain't, I ain't, I don't I don't stretch no lies. I don't I don't, I don't say all the good shit mm-hmm. just to get some buns. I mean, I get my personality, but I just know that we're different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dress it or or I'm not gonna pull myself away until I get what I want. You feel me? And then <laughs> <laughs> and then once I get what I want or tired of getting what I want, like I said, I need something new. Um, and then he said, "My lease is up." <laughs> and then I bring it up. Then I bring up. That's literally this. I got literally got a story for everything. <laughs> literally, a girl that I was fucking on last year. Um, I realized like we we the same we the same zodiac sign. Whatever. She cool. She cool to hang out with. We have fun together. But she's very like sensitive and very emotional. Yeah. So you um. You believe in like the zodiac yeah, signs yeah, and yeah. matching and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I think it, I don't believe a hundred percent. It did give you a good base. It gave me a good base. I'm not gonna sit there and say because a certain sign is something I can't fuck with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But there are personalities that are similar because of the zodiac mm-hmm. or whatever, and the astrology and shit goes a lot deeper in, into it. But I'm not too deep in it. But I do read up on it, and then yeah, I think about it. But not trying to go on the topic, but yeah, we was fucking on. I had a good, had a good time and shit. And then, but times we hung out, of course, my personality like me playing or whatever, or I like I seen her like a little meme or or something. But oh yeah, this is you or whatever. She was like, hmm, hmm. I'm like what the hell? I'm just joking. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then I. But this is after I already got what I wanted, so I, I had to tell her. I was just like, "Yo, like," she started. She kept inviting me places, and then I, I kept declining. She, she was like, "Yo, um, my best friend said oh, you don't like us no more, mm-hmm. like that." And I was like, "Nah, I kind of just had to like distance myself from you because I realized." I said, "Our last interaction, I realized that you took it more serious than I wanted to," and I said, "I felt bad about it. I felt bad about it because I do." I already know that I play too much and you don't have that personality in me. So we can't always be in the same space like we was. Mm -hmm. And then 
just so happened, she laughed that off and she was like, oh, damn. Well, I told her it's not us. It was me. So you had to get yourself away from me. And I was like, yeah, but we still good, though. I just know, like, anytime that we're around each other, just know I, I can't fully be myself around you. And that's a problem. Yeah. And then she was just like, she said, no, nah, I, I, I get that. I'm glad that you called it out. She said, because I know that you don't really want to fully change your ways. And I'm not going, I can't change me being sensitive. I know I'm sensitive. I'm emotional. And I can't change that about myself. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to tiptoe. I don't want to keep tiptoeing around somebody's feelings and we just fucking, you know what I'm so saying? So you, uh, <clears throat> you was talking about like the change and whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like people should be willing to yeah. change for somebody that they're with? Well, yeah. And if so, like how how much yeah, or how the, far? Somebody that they're with, not somebody that they just fucking. No, 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 yeah, facts, yeah, facts, yeah, facts. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about okay, yeah. not even just with. Yeah. Like say before y'all even become a thing. Mm-hmm. But if I if I think about if I think about like wanting her in my life, that's what I'm about yeah, to say. I think about wanting somebody in my life, even like a friend or mm-hmm. like a male friend. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think about wanting somebody in my life long term and knowing like how I how like certain things I do affect them. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I have to take their, their feelings and their thoughts in consideration to be like, all right, if this bothers them, is this, are their problems, if the problem they bring up, is it worth changing or is it just bad to them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's, there's things that we got to consider, like, are they, is it just a them thing or yeah. is it something that I really need to change, right? And so, that's a discussion that you have to have with that person too, so they you could they could see different sides um, of the spectrum. Because it's like, is it just you? Is it just you, or is it really all the way me? And we got to we have to discuss that with each other. You know what I'm saying? If we want to be in each other's lives, and then if I start to feel like it's just a you thing, and you trying to completely change me, I'm like, uh, I don't. I, I can't. It's not. It's not. It's not worth it because now. Now I'm filtering myself just to please you, and that's not gonna make me totally happy. Now, if I feel like it's something that I do need to change about myself, oh yeah, definitely, I'd be willing to change to keep that person in my life. You know what I'm saying? But so, it depends on how important that person you feel like is to your life. Mm, yes or no? I mean, because say say if it's something that I I should change about myself, right? Mm-hmm. Um and. I don't see that person as important, but it was good what they said. Well, yeah, they what gave. they said still holds some type of weight mm-hmm. because somebody else in my life it may affect somebody else in my life, right? Yeah. So yeah, it still holds some weight. Uh-huh. I can go for that. And <laughs> hey, look, this shit way off topic, <laughs> but this shit just came to my head. Uh, you know how, like, in the black community. We uh specifically the black community, we be going hard on like uh no snitching and all this other shit, right? Yeah. What do you think as far as this whole gunner and shit situation? And I'm just saying that because like I literally just heard the song in my head while we was talking. I don't know why shit popped. You listen to his whole album? Yeah, I had. Yeah. I had. Yeah, it's hard, yeah, yeah, but like so many yeah. people in that industry and shit, yeah. like, oh, I ain't never fuck with him again or whatever. Right. I think that's a lie. They just clout chasing for now, trying to like right. they hard and this, that, and the third. Because even on the other note, I know uh, they was getting on like Takashi real bad. Mm-hmm. Now he done had like features with a couple niggas. Like, yeah, I know. But niggas, I seen but, Kodak Black. But niggas getting, getting on Kodak ass, but. but. It's that bread, though. Yeah. Kodak's still like, hey, man, I'm trying to get that money. Yeah. But so, I don't know. And that's the like one of the things I always say. People go crazy when they judging someone else. And I guess that's the self-aware thing, too. Yeah. When it's like, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But when it directly affects you, people kind of, like, try to omit yeah. all the rules. And, like, hey, yeah. bro, for example, like, you know, we in the hood where you don't snitch. And like somebody's mom get killed. Mm-hmm. I don't care what nobody say. That nigga gonna want somebody to tell him. Yeah, exactly. if they know exactly. Yeah, who killed his mom? Right. 
or who killed his child. And, and that goes for that. Whatever. That goes for that same person. But I didn't know. Is that snitching? Huh? Is that snitching? Is it? And somebody go to <clears> him. <throat> tell him like that shit had nothing to do. That's literally the whole snitching yeah. part, right? That shit had nothing to do with you. It's a crime. You in the hood too. And you go tell him like, look, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you who. You know what I'm saying? For him to even want somebody or you know put it out hey bro anybody know anything about this come let me know is it snitching or is it only snitching when you tell the cops nah so some people see it as um it's not really considered snitching unless you live that like you're in that lifestyle or like you're inside the like sometimes not that i tend a nigga that know who killed somebody is gonna be in that life with them yeah so like so say like say like it was a drive-by i was a driver Somebody pulled the trigger. That trigger hit somebody's mom, right? If I was the driver... You ain't going to say shit if you the driver. I hope not. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. If I was a driver and I told somebody, I'm considered a snitch, right? But if I was somebody, a bystander, a witness, they wouldn't be considered a snitch for telling. You know what I'm saying? But I would have to even be if you, part of that. I would have I'd to say be part this, of that crime to be if, considered a snitch. If you're not the driver, you're not even in the car, but you a gangster ass nigga. You a nigga that live by that shit. Are yeah. you still and you seen it? You happen to see it? Are you snitching? You not? You not? You know what I'm saying? Am I doing it? No, cause I'm, niggas get killed every day. It is what it is. Yeah. But if it affected me, if it affected me, yeah, I want somebody to tell me. If if it affected somebody I love, then I w- I'm telling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody I love it. Yeah, I'm telling you, they call me a snitch. Or you want so, to? So okay, low yeah. key though. All right, say mm. if if it's your homeboy or something. My homeboy. Your homeboy, and somehow he did some crazy ass shit. Nope, you won't with him, but he tells you about the whole fucking crime in detail. Now, coincidentally, I don't believe him. Coincidentally, <laughs> coincidentally, you know, shit happens. You go to the police station. They come get you. You're like, what the fuck? And they like, you know, we heard you was with such and such on this night. He did this. He did that. And you was with him. We taking you. We taking him. But you just say I went with him. He told me. So no, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. It don't matter what the truth is. It only matters what the cops think. And they got you in cuffs already. You getting questioned. I I, if I went with him, I got an alibi to be where I was that night. And he got an alibi too and said he ain't did it. But that, both of y'all that in that bitch. ain't my business. So that's you going to tell them? That ain't my business. That's not my business. If I won't there, I don't got a story for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if okay. I was not there, I don't got a story good. for okay, you. Okay, but they like, okay, okay, Mr. Uh, damn, Christmas? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Christmas. I watch all these crime shows. They say, all right, Mr. Me. Christmas. <laughs> Don't say look. <laughs> don't tell us nothing, but it's fine. You'll be you just they take you, put you in the cell. Cause at the end of the day, they're gonna have to do it. But then they gotta do their part. They're gonna have to prove it. Facts. They have to prove it. So like ah, uh, they every, ain't really. They ain't gotta prove it. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they no, do. They don't. All I need is a, is a convincing jury that you did it. Nah. Yeah, dead so, ass. To hold me, to hold me, they gotta have to charge me with something, right? But if they naming my homeboy, they're not charging me. They not charging they me. They saying that you was with him. You helped him commit and, the crime. Yeah, and they gonna say what? They got, they gotta tell me what part they think I played in, it, right? Yeah, they gonna tell and, you. And it's gonna have to make sense. And then my alibi. Once I have my alibi, and they check my alibi, they they can't hold me, bro. They have, they have people locked up with no no bond, and they ain't been proven guilty yet. That's the same thing. I mean. I mean, they give yeah. you no bond. Now what? <laughs> no bond. I mean, it is what it is. I, I don't. So got, you go. You gonna rock. You gonna rock out. I'm. I'm gonna have to. I don't know nothing. What do I know if I'm not there? You know the whole story. Though. I don't know the whole story because I don't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go by what somebody okay, tell me. Okay, but this is the thing. How you not believe him? Okay, so bam. He tell you this crazy ass crime. Then the next day, you see the crazy ass crime on the news. Exact way he broke it down. It came out his mouth. I was not there. I do not believe him. I don't believe him unless I see with my own damn eyes. That's the that's the way I'm going with it. You gonna say that or you gonna like? I mean, 
The only way they going to know if he told me the crime is I tell him and he told me the crime. Nah, say they checked your phone and it was text and shit. Well, that's dumb as fuck. <laughs> what you mean? People, people are that stupid, though. People are literally I'm not that replying stupid. to no goddamn text that you say you commit a crime. Bro, that, that, like, all average niggas going to be like, what? For real? No, that's, wow, that's crazy. Nah, I'm not replying to that. No, I'm not. That's incriminating myself. I'm smarter than that. Come on now. You got to play me better. Hey. <laughs> Play me, hey. Look, I do not say no incriminating shit to no text message. Send a fucking audio or something, my boy. Don't sit there and fucking text it out, write it out. Hey, That's people crazy. do that. Like, you know how many people that got caught just I shit. believe it. Think about how many, many niggas get caught cheating because of text messages and DMs and things like that. Uh, people put everything. Oh, well, I mean, that's stupid. <laughs> you ain't never been caught type shit on like text messages, anything, was oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's... You know, it's different. That ain't that, no crime. I said, they ain't going to take me to this. They ain't going to prison. They ain't going to put me in the cell. Yeah. But yeah, of course, I got caught entertaining motherfuckers. I shouldn't be entertaining. Yeah. Niggas just had to slip up. You just get smarter. God damn. He <laughs> said you stop. He said you get smarter. <laughs> I'm kidding.